So what are we going to see in two years? But the the magnitude is yeah. it it's tenfold. Tenfold you know, meaning same same size battery can have ten times the energy with technologies in, that are at in the lab scale now. Right. So it's not like a couple percentage points. That's what the S curve is. It's right. it's a huge jump that works in the lab right now. And you now. think this is this is coming in two years? Like to uh, not maybe not two. Okay. In how many years? <laughs> how many years? It's like most tech. It'll start off in kind of beachhead markets. So there's some now that are in, you know, smart watches, some that are in, you know, drones, it starts there, and then it kind of ramps up. I think a big application will be, I think grid scale batteries will probably happen before EVs. What would that be? Grid scale just has a much more controlled environment. Right. Got it. Oh, a grid, I see. I a see. grid scale yeah, battery yeah. never turns off. Right. So a lot of the ones now have, have trouble working at low temperatures. They, they want to be hot, you know, very hot, over 100 C. So if you're in a vehicle, a grid, a grid scale, solid state. So okay. So if you're in a vehicle, your vehicle's off at least some time. Most of the time, you don't want to yeah. have it cool off and heat back up again. But right. a stationary battery, you can just keep at that temperature all the time. Right. So and we'll car see. batteries run a lot cooler than a hundred C. Well, right. you want well they do because of the liquid right. electrolyte. Right. Once it isn't liquid, you would want to run it hot. Oh, but how do you keep it hot? That's what I'm saying. So okay. a stationary battery can just stay hot. Right. Some of the inefficiency makes, you know, just dual heat, it stays hot on its own. Okay. Because it never turns off. Vehicles right. kind of on and off. So yeah, there will be materials developed but, that can run at low temperature as well. But until then, there are other applications. So but 10X is like really revolutionary because then we could take like tons out of vehicles. What did a uh, Model 3, Model Y battery pack weigh? 1,500 pounds? 1,200 pounds? A like little less, but yes. Okay, so it's a thousand pounds, and you make it a hundred pounds. That's massive. Yeah, it works on paper now, and, <laughs> and it works in okay. laboratories now. Okay, and now it's, yeah. it's now about rounding the whole the whole wow. spider chart. You got to do it all yeah, at once. Yeah.